is uh, day one of archery. Not statewide. I belong to an urban hunt. So I'm getting a couple week uh, jump start. I had the worst time getting into this spot. I knew where it was. I had it marked on a map, but the first time I came in, I came in from a different access. And I struggled this morning to get in here. I think I left my truck at 520 and I didn't get set up until after 6 a.m. Had a hard time climbing. I, my wedding ring came off when I was about 10 feet up the tree. <laughs> Heard it bounce when it hit the ground. I climbed back down and just by the grace of God found that thing. My wife would have skinned me if I'd have gone home without it. But I jumped one deer coming in that I know of. I'm just soaking wet from rain on my grass from last night. Soaking wet from sweat. Uh, wasn't the best time getting in here. So we're just going to hang out. Hopefully we'll see some deer. Hopefully I can kill one today. And uh, I see one or eight now. Out in front of me. Moving my way. It's about 75 yards out. Big doe. So, let me see if I can get her on camera. knew something was up. She uh, came across the trail. The wind was kind of coming back into my face. She cut across my ground scent uh, where I was stumbling around trying to figure out where the heck I was going this morning. Uh, she ended up cutting down over the hill. I shouldn't have tried to come in the way I came this morning. I thought it would be easier. It ended up being way harder. Um, I just couldn't figure out where I was exactly. And I had Onyx maps on. I just I didn't know where I was at. I couldn't, I could, I could see where I was supposed to be on the map. But I couldn't get there because of all this tall brush. Now that it's daylight out, I can tell exactly where I went. But, oh well. That is life. daggone cool to see my first buck of the year. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't shoot that buck, it's because in this urban hunt, I have to shoot two does before I have a buck tag available. So, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, those two does came out. They went down over the hill. That buck came 
stood right underneath my stand at two yards. And he came, went on back into these woods and bedded. <sighs> I knew it was going to happen, but, uh, oh well. He wasn't that big of a buck anyway. I mean, I'd shoot him on this urban hunt for sure. But, uh, probably outside of the urban hunt, I doubt I'd shoot him. But it sure was exciting uh, having a buck with a rack right underneath my tree. That's a lot better than my whole season last year went. I had one shooter buck under my tree last all last season. So we're already improved on that. This is just exciting. Well, we're gonna hang in here for about another hour. Uh, see what stirs around. Hopefully some does move around. If not, probably get down. Uh, and then uh, head back to the truck. It's exciting though. Fun first day in the woods. Well, I'm back at the house and man, that was fun to get out and test some gear, get to see some deer. Got a nice buck underneath me. Um, if I had killed two does already for this urban hunt, I'd have whacked him too. I might not kill him on my own farm or even on public ground, but this is an urban hunt. The point is to decrease the deer population. And if I had those two doe tags filled first, uh, I'd have smoked that buck. But it was fun to get out, and uh, I'm thankful for it. This evening, i got to watch my little girl while my wife goes to a football game, so I'm probably not going to be hunting. But, uh, oh well, it was kind of supposed to be windy and rainy tonight anyway. Whew. Anyway, guys, we'll see you here later on in the week. i got a couple days to hunt that uh, urban hunt this week, so we'll get out there see what happens. See you guys.